Ray Lewis students feel a connection to a young girl that they have never met. Malala's belief in education for all nearly cost her her own life during a 2012 assassination attempt. Ziadine Yousafzai shared stories of a young girl once known as his daughter. When Malala was not famous, she was my daughter. And now I am her father. <laughs> and you, you see, uh, why, what, what is the difference? Uh, I usually, people ask me that, why Malala is so courageous and so poised and so bold. People think that I might have given her a special kind of training in the patriarchal society to which I belong to. But I tell them, don't ask me what I did. Ask me what I did not do. I did not clip the wings of my daughter. I encouraged her to, to fly. You see, I learned from her. And believe me, the resilience which she showed after the worst trauma she received. She has lost hearing on her left, left ear and her facial nerve was cut down. So the facial nerve which controls the left side of her face was cut down and she could not move her left face. And because of that, she had numbness on her left side she lost her smile. You know, smile is the most beautiful expression of any human being. The most beautiful expression when you smile. And this is two, two things are common whether the children belong to the east or to the west. They smile in the same manner and they cry in the same manner. They may have different languages. They may speak French, Urdu, English, Japanese, Chinese. They don't understand each other's languages. But when they smile, she lost her smile. She had a crooked smile. And my wife and I, we were very upset when we met her. And when she tried to smile, her uh, one side of her mouth went down. Oh, you can't imagine how much painful it was, how much difficult it was. But what happened? She told us, because she's very sensible, she knew that my parents are passing through pains of, as I have lost my smile. She told us, God has given me a new life. I'm good. I'm all right. I don't care about these smiles. Be happy. Had she not been resilient, I won't have been able to speak to you. Or I won't, or her mother won't have been able to be so happy today. She encouraged us. She, she turned, this was she, not me, not our family. This was Malala herself who turned her tragedy into a global campaign for education because of her courage and resilience. So we can learn from every... And this is not only she, I mean every child. Every child. Don't take your education for granted. It's very valuable. Very valuable. And the cultural diversity I see her here, oh, it's amazing. You are a cluster of different flowers. You are the beauty of the human beings and the beauty of this globe. And I love the motto of your school, Relevance Elementary School, and there is pursue the dream. I always ask and I always tell my people and my students that you must dream. There are two kinds of dream. One, when you sleep and you have sometimes good dreams and horrible dreams. I mean not their dream. I mean the dream which does not let you sleep. The dream to do something good in life, to learn more and more, to be a responsible citizen of your country, to make your nation strong 
and thought and to be caring about the whole humanity all around the world. Thank you very much. I can personally make a difference by, well, like, respecting every everyone around um, like me my friends like everyone make everyone feel like they belong here and like never put anyone out of place something that I could do to make a difference is I can support the, the funds that have ed, like the education funds like I can support the Malala fund and like we have our own social justice group here who help kids in different places learn like have an education so like I could participate with those funds and I can donate some money and bring in some things for them. In another generation they'll say oh why this generation why not the next generation and they'll keep waiting and waiting and the problem will never get solved so we have to do it as quickly as possible and we're the generation to do it.